So today I am doing a mung bean seaweed tempeh with you all and it's a nice substitute for seafood and it's also great for those of you who are allergic to soybeans or want a tempeh using a different bean. So I can't wait to show you guys this recipe. So I tried this recipe with soybeans and mung beans. And so each of them I have two cups and I'm going to soak them in water overnight. It just makes it easier to cook them later. Um, now with the soybeans, people tell me that you actually have to remove that outer skin so that later on the spores from the tempeh starter can permeate the bean better. So just keep that in mind if you're using soybeans. Uh, for my mung beans, these have already had their skins removed so it's a little bit easier that way and I am just giving them a quick rinse before cooking them for right around 15 minutes. So the water level should be about an inch above the beans and I had forgotten to show that I added about three to four tablespoons of apple cider vinegar into the mixture and the reason is because the spores function a lot better in an acidic environment. So I cooked the mung beans on kind of medium heat for right around 15 minutes. You want to cook it to the texture and the consistency that you'd want your tempeh to be. So I like mine a little bit on the al dente side and afterwards you just strain out the liquid and wait until the temperature drops to about 95 degrees. So it's just like warm to the touch so that you don't kill off any of the spores. I'm gonna just divide my mixture in half. So one cup of the beans will be uh, mixed in with my seaweed and my sea vegetables, and then the other ones will just be like a neutral one. So this is the tempeh starter and you can get it um, online. I will put a link down below. And I add in right around one teaspoon for two cups of beans. So I'm gonna do a half a teaspoon uh, with the ones with the seaweed and then half a teaspoon for just the neutral ones. So usually people do this in plastic bags and then they poke holes in the plastic bag so that the spores can just breathe and grow. Um, but I found out actually traditionally the Indonesians do this with banana leaves and I just so happen to have some. So make sure to use two sheets when you're doing it though because the leaves tear really easily and then you end up getting a big mess. So essentially you just wanna pack it in uh, pretty tightly and then just wrap it up and I secure it with a couple of wooden skewers.
So you want to place these packages in a container, lid open, next to a warm place, maybe like next to a furnace or something. And within 24 to 36 hours, the tempeh starter should have done its job. Um, you might want to check it every now and then. This was my first time making tempeh and it did go pretty well, but I can see how things could also go badly. So make sure to kind of smell it, make sure to check uh, that it is growing and um, if you guys can see right now it's actually pretty cool because the starter has this kind of um, mold that grows around the beans so now the beans are kind of like one single mass everything is glued together and um, there wasn't too much like weird smell to it at all. I would say because I was using the banana leaf, it smelled more banana-y um, than anything. And so this tempeh is good to go. You can cut it up into pieces. You can stick it into the freezer for up to six months, but it's ready to be put into any recipes that you want, especially ones that might require seafood. So there you guys go. I have this seafood mung bean tempeh and hopefully you guys might get interested in making a little bit of tempeh. Um, it was actually a lot of fun. It had, you know, kind of a slight bit of seaweed flavor as well, but I wouldn't say too, too much. Not so much that it's overpowering or that it's necessarily crazy seafoody. If you do want more seaweed flavor, I've seen some recipes where you wrap a sheet of seaweed around the the tempeh and then cook it as you would like maybe batter it and deep fry it or whatever you wish as usual if you want to see more recipes like this please please remember to hit that like and subscribe button and i will see you guys all again next time bye